What's up everybody, my name is Spencer Ryan. I'm a photographer and filmmaker, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. The past couple of weeks with putting out more and more content on YouTube and TikTok, I've noticed that my previous computer was choking a little with my 4K workflow. Now, you might say, just edit in 1080, and that's a totally fair suggestion, but for myself, I'm always obsessed with getting the best quality I can, and having a 4K TV in my living room, it helps me sleep better at night knowing it's formatted correctly and not upscaling on millions of TVs out there in the world. So I went ahead and made some upgrades. Fortunately, the guy who I bought my original PC from was super helpful, and he actually allowed me to trade out a lot of the parts for free. I was initially working with an i7-8700T, which is the economical version of the 8700 and 8700K. The base clock was at 2.4 gigahertz and turbo only got up to 4.0. So it was extremely limited in what it could do. My graphics card was and still is the Asus GTX 1060 with six gigabytes of RAM and it hardly bats an eye with anything I throw at it, so that was safe to stay. So what we ended up doing was we swapped out the CPU for an i5-9600K that was completely ready for overclocking, and we added a big fat tower cooler, which you can see in the back, to get us to five gigahertz. And in the process, we needed a new case because that tower cooler wasn't gonna fit, so we swapped out the old mini ITX Cougar case for the NZXT H510, and added some fancy RGB inside. Finally, and honestly, this just happened today, I upgraded the cheap 1080p monitor that I was using for this 27 inch 4K monitor from Dell, and uh, it is a killer upgrade. The biggest reason I did this was so that I would have more room in Premiere to edit my videos, and it does not disappoint. The timeline fits, everything fits really well. Eventually, I'd like to add another one to put beside it vertically, but now I'm just being greedy. After testing everything through Premiere, I can effectively run through a 4K timeline fully graded in full resolution live with motion graphics and have zero lost frames. Now I'm almost positive with some more complex effects or transitions, it would start to drop frames, but I can drop it to half resolution and it would be totally fine. And this would more than likely just be due to the lack of hyper threading in the 9600, but for now, it's perfect for my needs. I'll put a link to everything I have here in the bio and if you're interested in building the same thing or just some of it or you want this silly little desk lamp or something, it'll be there for you. I hope this video is a little helpful to those of you that are looking to incorporate a 4K workflow in your life. If it was, please give it a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this one, press subscribe and click the little bell notification. That's it for today's video and I'll see you all in the next one.